Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today, in this video, we're going to take a look at an easy way to copy files to and from your RG350. Keep in mind this is for Windows only, there's no drivers to install, no software install needed, and you have access to the internal and the external micro SD card. So if this sounds interesting to you, let's get started. First thing you'll want to do is go to wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash RG350 tips and here you'll find a slew of information for your RG350 and what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down just a little bit and here you'll see helpful resources, accessories, all kinds of things but what we're interested in is the easy way to copy files to your RG350. So here are some step-by-step -step instructions but of course we're going to walk through it here. It is assuming that you are running Windows 10, and if you're not, I'm sorry, but these instructions may not be helpful. If you're interested in 3D printing this stand, take a look at the link in the description below. Okay, so you want to plug your USB-C cable in here, and that will connect up to your PC. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. Then we'll power on the RG350. And then we'll go to the settings menu. So we'll hit the left bumper in this case, go over to network and press A. And from here, we want to move up to where it says allow login without password. And notice the IP address up here. Now, don't worry, there's no Wi-Fi on the RG350, so it shouldn't be a security concern. Okay, so now we're gonna go to map network drive. And then from here, we're going to click on connect to a website link and then we'll click next and then we'll choose a custom network location and then here we're going to type in FTP colon forward slash forward slash and the IP address that you saw on your device don't use the one I'm using yours may be different so enter that and then we'll hit next and log on anonymously, that's good. Hit next. And then here we're gonna give it a name. So we'll call it RG350. Then we'll click next and finish. Now once you do that, you have full access to your RG350. We can go into apps, we can look at all the OPK files that we have installed. We can also go back to media, we could go to the SD card and browse around here, we'll click emulators, there you go. How easy was that? Pretty cool, huh? Now we'll actually try copying a new file into the apps folder, which is the internal micro SD card. So we'll swap back over here and go to the helpful resources, and we'll go to the RG350 downloads. We'll select local pack, and then we'll go to extra games and we'll pick this one down here I believe it's called digger.opk it's kind of like uh, dig dug so we'll go ahead and right click this save as link and you want to make sure that you copy it to your downloads folder first it will give you problems if you try and save it directly to your RG350 and this is what it looks like when you don't right click the file you get a bunch of gibberish so don't do that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to right click on the file, hit copy, and then we're going to switch over to this PC and double click on the RG350. We will go to apps and just right click in here where there's no file, hit paste, and it'll copy it to the internal micro SD card. Press F5 if you don't see it immediately to refresh the display. And there we go. Digger.opk is now on the internal firmware. All right, from here we can go ahead and exit and let's go ahead and swap over to the games tab. And look here, we have Digger. 
let's go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> it's actually a fun game. You might want to download it. I had fun playing this one. Ah, it wasn't very good. As usual. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go ahead and exit the game. And now what we'll do is we'll go back over to Applications. We'll go into Dingix Commander. We're going to hit B and go all the way back. And I just want to show you, if you go to the Media, Data, and Apps subfolder, there you'll see Digger is on the internal microSD. All right, so we'll quit. And we can unplug the USB cable and power off our unit. Now, one more thing I want to show you, if you would like to remove this shortcut, just simply go to this PC, right click on RG350, delete, and say yes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video very informative, and I hope you enjoy the 3D printed gaming stand if you choose to print that out. If you want to let me know you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, we shall see you very soon.